Kidney Dialysis by kscience.com. This here is a kidney dialysis machine. What I'm drawing here is the partially permeable membrane. This partially permeable membrane separates the blood from the patient and the dialysis fluid that flows through the dialysis machine. Blood from the patient enters the dialysis machine. So this here is blood from the patient entering the dialysis machine. Dialysis machine is there to remove the urea from the blood. So this here is the urea that is in the blood. These are the red blood cells that will end up remaining in the blood. This here is the glucose that will also remain in the blood as it exits the dialysis machine. And these here are the proteins that will also remain in the blood and not exit into the dialysis fluid. So the blood from the patient is going to contain urea, glucose and ions, proteins and red blood cells. So what is in the dialysis fluid? So fluid is going to enter the dialysis machine. So dialysis fluid contains glucose and this glucose will be the same concentration as the concentration of the glucose in the patient's blood, which I'll explain later. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. I'm now going to explain what happens to each component of the blood as it goes through the dialysis machine. So these are the red blood cells. The red blood cells don't exit from the blood into the dialysis fluid. This is because they are larger than the partially permeable membrane. Proteins remain in the blood. They will also not exit into the dialysis fluid through the partially permeable membrane. This is because the partially permeable membrane is smaller then the size of the red blood cells and the proteins. So the proteins and the red blood cells remain in the blood in the dialysis machine. The glucose will also remain in the blood and not exit into the dialysis fluid. This is because the glucose in the dialysis fluid is the same concentration as the concentration of glucose in the patient. That means there is no movement of glucose in or out of the blood because diffusion requires there to be a concentration gradient. So if there is no concentration gradient, glucose can't diffuse from a high to low concentration. So the glucose will remain in the blood. So glucose and red blood cells and proteins, so glucose and red blood cells and proteins. So what I'm drawing here is the urea flowing into the dialysis machine, but in the blood of the patient. The urea is in a higher concentration in the patient's blood than it is in the dialysis fluid because there is no urea in fresh dialysis fluid. So because there's no urea in fresh dialysis fluid, the urea is going to diffuse from the high concentration from inside the patient's blood into the low concentration in the dialysis fluid because there is no urea in the dialysis fluid. So there should be no urea in the blood as it exits the dialysis machine. So this blood here, which is the blood that's going to return to the patient, should have no urea in it. So waste dialysis fluid is removed. Waste dialysis fluid is removed. It's really important to replenish dialysis fluid because the urea will build up in the dialysis fluid. And if that happens and it's not replaced, there will be no concentration gradient, so urea will not diffuse from the patient's blood and into the dialysis fluid. So waste dialysis fluid is removed and dialysis fluid is constantly replaced with dialysis fluid with the same concentration of glucose that is in the patient's blood. So fresh dialysis fluid is replaced and that has the same glucose concentration as the patient's blood. The components of the blood that you find in the blood before it enters the dialysis machine and exits the dialysis machine to the patient is glucose and ions, glucose and ions, proteins, proteins, and red blood cells, and red blood cells. However, there is no urea in the blood that returns to the patient. This is because the urea diffuses from a high to low concentration from the blood and into the dialysis fluid. 
That is how urea is removed from the blood during dialysis. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.